Every single room has its own issues that require their own treatment strategy. But no matter what kind of room you're treating, whether it's a mixing, mastering, or recreational listening area, certain methods will always be more useful for beginning your treatment strategy. If you want to improve your imaging, there's no better place to start than by treating your first reflections. The reflected sound that bounces off your walls and ceiling mixes with the original sound. When these reflections are delayed enough, you hear them as reverb, but the early reflections arrive at your listening position with so little delay that you can't parse the reflected sound from the original sound. Remember that overlapping sound waves interfere with each other and cause phase interference. Those early reflections can arrive close enough to the original sound to create patterns of constructive and destructive interference that result in things like comb filtering. The thickest panels you can afford to fit here are always the best solution. While thinner panels would be able to tackle the reflective region of sounds, using a thinner panel means that we've used up some of our budget and available space without treating the mid-bass frequencies. For example, the 242 is a fantastic panel for reflection reduction. With just a modest investment increase, we can use a 244 panel which will absorb more of the bass resonances that plague small rooms. Rooms with ceilings in the 7 and 9 foot range especially benefit from 244 panels on the ceiling first reflections as they're capable of hitting the height axis node that will cause frequency dips in the mid bass at seated ear level. We have a handy video guide for finding your first reflections if you need help, but think of it this way. Imagine your speaker is a cue ball, and your walls and ceiling are billiard table rails and your ear is the pocket. You can line up the shot and know that you're hitting the reflection point. Rather than expecting your head to remain in a singular location when you listen, it's best to envision these billiard shots for every location your head goes to when you lean in, kick back, or stand up. The more reflection angles that you cover between you and your speakers, the larger the sweet spot will be for you to work or compose and listen in. Mixing and mastering situations should favor pure broadband absorption for treatment of their first reflection areas, for the most neutral impression of their speakers. However, in a recreational listening scenario like a hi-fi room or home theater, it's not entirely wrong to use diffusion in these locations. While either option is unequivocally better than a reflective wall, the artist holding the brush should seek a neutral look at their work rather than a colored version that diffusion would impart. The second step is to treat your corners with thick bass traps. All rooms have room modes. These are the frequencies that correspond to the dimensions of the room. The three room modes that are the strongest are going to be the wavelengths that measure the same as the height, depth, and width of the room. By treating the corners, we treat two room modes at once. This concept extends to the horizontal corners of the room that run along your room's floor and ceiling. These areas can be more difficult to treat, but they're still corners of your room and an opportunity to get a more and more linear and accurate low-end response from your speakers. In a perfect world, you'd be deploying bass traps that are thick enough to reach the lowest resonance that your room will impart on your ears. GIK soffit bass trap has a great effect as low as 40 Hz, making it the ideal choice for rooms in the 12 to 14 foot range. While a single soffit stood alone can only affect to about 40 Hz, the coupling effect of several soffits run but it or stacked against each other can reach lower and lower regions. Defining number one as first reflection in corners as number two is a very close call. However, if you remember, we recommend that you treat your first reflection zones with thicker panels as to not leave your base region unaddressed if you start there exclusively. The back wall is another key area you'll want to focus treatment. By definition, the back wall will be the wall that your speakers are directed towards, so there's a lot of energy reflecting off the back wall that can contribute to things like room modes and reverb. This is an area where you'll also want to focus thick bass traps. The full range of your speakers will reflect off the back wall, so broadband panels like the full range 244s or Monsters are a great choice, especially when you have a lot of doors or windows that limit the ability to cover a good percentage of the back wall. In these cases, we're taking advantage of the limited space that we have to remove as much of the total reflections as possible. But when you can cover, say, 30-40% to 40 of your entire rear wall, or more, then diffusion is a great way to control the return of your speaker's reflection, but in a more nuanced way. The only time when this would not be the case is when your ears are going to be relatively close to the rear wall. It's always best to check each specific type of diffusion panel to see if there's a minimum seating distance required. A very safe choice will always be one of our Alpha Series diffusers. Scattering style flat plates like those in the Alpha series have a much closer distance tolerance than the depth based diffusion in our Gotham or Grid Fuser. As an added bonus, thicker versions of the Alpha are also deploying more bass trapping behind the scattering plate, so you're getting significantly more value out of the same footprint. 
Just treating these three areas, first reflections, corners, and back wall, will bring your room's audio quality up dramatically. Further improvements can be made by testing and experimenting with additional treatment. If you're still struggling to get your room under control, check out our website where you can find tons of free articles, tools, and videos, as well as our free acoustic advice forum. It was designed to help you get details of your room over to our team of designers so that they can get you the very best advice for your room. Get free acoustic advice. Visit GIKacoustics.com for educational articles and tutorials.